Mr. Marinescu trying again today, are we? Um... Well, let's see if we're up for the task, shall we? The same task. Well, it is difficult, I'll give them that. Oh, would you look at that? My shoelace is untied. Shoelace? Does he mean the shoelace formula for the surface area of polygons? Is this another hint? If you don't mind, I'll just have some fun with this while you are working. A Rubik's Cube. There's no doubt about it now, these are hints, and I know just what to do. I'll generate multiple random values again, but now I'll use two dimensions, aka random points. These cover the surface area of a unit square. Get it? Unit, as in one. Haha, <laughs> I crack me up. Anyway, to calculate this area I first compute the convex hull. An ordered subset of points that define the convex shape which encloses all points and has minimal area. In layman's terms, points that touch this rubber band. And finally, I'll use the shoelace formula to calculate the area of the shape. I need a large number again. I learned my lesson last time, so I'll choose a lower value and take the fourth root of the maximum safe integer. This becomes roughly 9741, which will definitely not cause any memory problems this time. I need to test it though to see if the accuracy is good enough, making a mental note. Now I'll generate random values similar to last time, but this time we use two values, one for each dimension. Two minutes left! What? No! I don't have enough time to implement an algorithm for the convex hole. I just can't physically type fast enough. I must find an open source. There doesn't seem to be anything in the rules against it. Yes, I found something! It even uses Graham's scan algorithm with linear rhythmic time complexity. Neat! Now to quickly link it and prepare the input in the expected format. One minute left! Not a problem, it's more than enough time for the shoelace formula. The area is just calculated by pairing the coordinates in this way, which resembles a typical shoelace tying strategy. Each pair is multiplied and added on one side, but subtracted on the other. The absolute value of the result is twice the area, so we need to divide it by 2 here. 2 is not allowed as such, but 2 is easy. I just get it by removing the fractional digits of Euler's constant from the math library. Done. Still a few seconds left, giving me enough time to test. Yes, it works! Let's see how you did. Shall we? Yes! It seems to behave as expected. Good! The code looks good too. Can you please explain yourself? It is not allowed to use external code in the interview. It says right here. On the other side. Since I'm such a nice guy, I will not restrict you from applying again. Better luck next time! Hi! Hope you had as much fun watching this as I did making it. If you did, remember to like, comment, subscribe and press the bell button if you want to be notified when the next episode comes out.